And a warm welcome from the south coast of England. We find ourselves at the Vitality Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis. Alongside me is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And this confrontation is underway. Marcus Tavernier. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Lookman. And that pass could be troublesome. And rattling the post. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here's the replay, and look how quickly he reacts. That's great awareness from him. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Senesi. Meppen with it. Good looking pass. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. towards the back post well it didn't worry the keeper Duvan Zapata moving into the advanced position and credit is due for that good piece of defending well, being pressed here Kelly and Lerma Marcus Tavernier well the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack well they seem to be onto something positive but it faded away Philip Billing 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 with it moving the ball nicely trying to carve out the equaliser Billing 
Philip Billing. Smith. Dominic Solanke on the ball. Well timed tackle. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Martin Deron. Intelligent threaded pass here. But it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Perfect challenge. Promising attack, this. Lukman. Now with Tapa Costa. Lukman. Can he finish? Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Goal for the so, 2-0 now. Number 91, Duvan Zapata. the referee correctly decided to play advantage well as those stats tell us Bournemouth have enjoyed so much of the ball but their attacking play has been too slow mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players at some point they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders otherwise they're going to lose this indeed and first they have to win back possession well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't Solanke Solanke. Crossing opportunity. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Joe Rothwell. Now with Lerma. Lerma. Billing. Solanke. must score palmed away by the keeper so now a corner well could this be the turning point the fans are certainly hoping so He's driven in the corner. Well, the danger is still there. And the referee blows the whistle. The first half is in the history books here at the Vitality. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he struggled to get on the ball. And that's one of the reasons they're losing here. So back underway here into the second half.
Philip Billing. Oh, the threat is there. It needs an accurate cross. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Putting his body on the line. Rafael Toloi. Soranke. On the ball, Zappa Costa. Giorgio Scalvini. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This is looking threatening. Could pull one back here. It's still alive. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, let's take another look at this. From the attacking point of view, everything is right. The shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him. Players coming in for the rebound. It's an excellent goal. And the keeper could do nothing about it. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. And an astute piece of defending. And into the last 30 minutes now. Solanke. Just the challenge that was required. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Lukman. Far from a good pass. Soranke. The cross is on. Soranke. Nicely timed tackle. 20 minutes to go. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Joe Rockwell. <laughs> Kelly. Brooks still trailing but they're upping the pressure very alert defending to cut off the supply Cup Mainers lovely ball over the top and the keeper more than equal to the task both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench and a short corner let's see can be comfortable in bringing that ball down high pressing at its best Lewis Cook now with Lerma on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly Lukman an effective challenge Zabacosta oh great defending This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Cook. Brooks. Well, nicely cut out. Cook. Soranke. 
And the referee blows for full time. Not what Bournemouth fans had in mind this, a defeat. And Stewart, I wonder how you would assess their performance. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.